Hello, my name's Dr Tamalee Duggan. I'm a clinical psychologist in the specialist palliative care team and I'd like to talk to you for a couple of minutes about grief and bereavement during our current COVID-19 pandemic. I think the first thing to say is that the death of a loved one is a very painful and distressing experience but to go through that during our current pandemic may make that all the more traumatic and difficult. So grief is our very normal emotional response to the death of someone close to us. You may experience a number of different and unexpected emotions and they can range from feelings of shock, sadness, um, disbelief, anger, sometimes even relief if it's been a very long and difficult illness. You might experience waves of sadness that can hit at all sorts of different and unexpected times. You might notice all sorts of triggers, so perhaps hearing a song on the radio or smelling something that reminds you or even just finding you've got something fairly mundane that you want to share and then realise you can't. So grief can affect us emotionally, but it also can affect us physically. So you might find you haven't got much appetite. You might find that it affects your sleep. You might feel that you're struggling to think things through, make decisions or to multitask. So grief has cognitive, which is our thinking, behavioural, social, spiritual, uh, cultural dimensions. And it also brings up existential issues where we grapple with thoughts of our own death. So it's a complex process and the more significant the bereavement, the more intense some of those reactions may be. But importantly, your grieving process is unique to you, so there is no right or wrong here. I think the important difference at the moment is that some of the rituals, both before and after death, may not be as available to us right now. So people are tending to have small intimate funerals and then the wake ceremony that might typically follow is something that they're not able to have. So this can magnify our sense of helplessness and grief, uh, guilt. But of course you might decide to postpone and have a celebration of life or a, a re remembrance service at some point in the future. But what might be helpful now in the meantime? So the ways that we may work through grief is through the support of friends, family and colleagues. But of course with the physical distancing restrictions you may find that some of that's not happening right now. So maybe find a way, think about doing it virtually, so either over the telephone or using a video conferencing platform like Zoom or FaceTime or WhatsApp, but come together virtually to maybe share a poem or share memories and stories about your loved one, possibly listen to a piece of music or look through old photographs, raise a toast to that person, say a prayer, whatever feels right for you. Because remember, again, there's no right or wrong. It's what might feel right for you. And it might sound strange, but some for some people, talking out loud to that person who's died can bring a great deal of comfort. And maybe having an object or a picture can be very reassuring. It can help you feel closer to them. And remember, this isn't you losing the plot. This is you maintaining a really important bond at a very difficult time. And on a very practical level, um, think about your physical health. So... Possibly, you know, you might not have much appetite, but trying to eat little and often, trying to do a bit of exercise each day, getting out in the fresh air, going for a nice walk, even sitting in the garden with a cup of tea or coffee and just listen to the birds for 10 minutes. Those, those simple things can be very settling. Um, I think importantly, please don't struggle alone. There are a number of organisations out there, both nationally and locally, that can support you, adults and children. So please do get in touch. And I think lastly, just to say, please try and do your best to meet yourself kindly wherever you're at at this time. It's all the more difficult and you're going to have good and bad days or maybe a, a whole string of not so great days at times. But remember, this is a really difficult time. So please do your best to be kind to yourself. Thank you.